and appreciate your holy name. Thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. And now in the month of May, Lord, we are saying thank you. Giving you all the glory. Giving you all the honor. Giving you all the adoration. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for all that you do. King of glory, blessed be unto your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Ashani be tati bere. Ashani be tebade. I do bow, Jesus. I be temu alo. Ashani be tati bere. Ashani be tebade. Yeah. 
just want to say, Baba, oh, Eshe. We just want to say, Baba, oh, Eshe. We just want to say, Lord. We just want to say, we just want to say Baba, oh, Baba, oh Eshe. of our praise unto you we give all the thanks unto you we give all the glory you have been so good to us you've been keeping us carrying us preserving us 
sustaining us, providing for us, comforting us in all sides, increasing us in all sides. Father, we've come to say thank you for all that you have done. We've come to say thank you for all that you did, working it out behind the scene for us. We've come to say thank you for the times it looks that we are coming to the end of the road, but you showed up. You came through for us. We've come to say thank you for not allowing your word to cease in our life, always speaking to us because you love us and you have a great plan for us. Lord, we've come to say thank you. We appreciate you, King of glory. Be thy exalted, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My dear friends, I want to welcome you to another um, Tuesday of a Bible study. It's a new month again. God has brought us into a brand new day and he has kept us through up until this evening. We need to give thanks to God. We need to appreciate him. We need to thank him for all that he's been doing for us right from the beginning of this year. January 1st up until this day. I want us to begin to appreciate him right now. Thank him for January 1st. Thank him for January 2nd. Thank him for January 3rd. Thank him for January 4th. Thank him. Just begin to thank him for all of the days and the months he has given you grace to see. Father, I thank you, Jehovah, for January 5th. Father, I want to say thank you for January 6th. Lord, I give you praise for January 7th. I give you praise for January 8th. I thank you for you remain good even in January 9th. I want to say thank you, Lord, for January 10th. I want to say thank you, Lord, for January 11th. Father, I bless your name for January 12th. I thank you for you keep being faithful even in January 13th. So, Lord, I say thank Thank you for January 14. Father, I say thank you for January 15. Father, I say thank you for January 16. Father, I say thank you to you for January 17. All the bodies in fourth us, oh God, even in January 18. I've come to say thank you for the provisions we enjoyed even in January 19. I've come to say thank you for all that you turned around for us and our families even in January 20. Father, I've come to say thank you. Thank you for January 21, thank you for January 22, thank you for January 23, thank you for January 23rd, thank you for 24, thank you for January 23, thank you for January 26. Father, we are saying thank you for January 27, we are thank you for, thank you for January 28, Father, we are saying thank you, Lord, for January 29, thank you for January 30, thank you for January 31st. Father, we are grateful for the month of January for all that you did. Lord, you do not stop there. Your word says, great is thy faithfulness, O God. Morning by morning, your mercy we see. And your compassion filleth not. And your word says that it's of your mercy that we're not consumed. So Lord, even after all that you did, up until January 31st, you still continued to be good and your mercy endured forever over us. So, Lord, we say thank you for February 1st. We say thank you for February 2nd. We say thank you for February 3rd. We say thank you for February 4th. We say thank you for February 5th. We say thank you for February 7th, 6th. We say thank you for February 7th. We say thank you for February 8th. We say thank you for February 9th. We are saying thank you for February 10th. We say thank you, Lord, for February 11th. Lord, we are saying thank you for February 12th. Father, we say thank you to you for February 13th, for taking us through February 14th. Lord, we say thank you. Carrying us through February 15th, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for February 16th. We say thank you for February 17th. Lord, we say thank you for February 18th. Lord, for what you did in February 19th. Lord, we say thank you. For what you did in February 20th, Father, we have come to say thank you. Preserving our lives even in February 21, Father, we want to say thank you. Fighting our battles, oh God, even on February 22nd, we've come to say thank you. 
assuring us in your word that our tomorrow is going to be all right. In February 23rd, we've come to say thank you. Thank you for February 24th. Father, we have come to say thank you for February 25th. Father, we have come to say thank you for February 26th. Thank you for February 27th. Thank you for February 28th. Lord, you are good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because you are faithful. You are consistent in all your ways. You continued with us even in the month of March. Father, we are saying thank you for March 1st. Father, we are saying thank you for March 2nd. Father, we are saying thank you for March 3rd. Father, we are saying thank you for March 4th. Father, we are saying thank you for March 5th. Father, we are saying thank you for March 6th. Father, we are saying thank you for March 7th. Father, we are saying thank you for March 8th. Father, we have come to say thank you for March 9th. We have come to say thank you for March, oh Lord God, 10th. Father, we have come to say thank you for March 11th. Father, I want to say thank you for March 12th. Father, I want to say thank you for March 13th. Father, thank you for March 14th. Father, thank you for March 15. Father, we have come to say thank you for March 16. Father, we have come to say thank you for March 17. Father, we are saying thank you for March 18. Thank you for March 19. Thank you for March 20. Thank you for March 21. Thank you, Lord, for March 22nd for what you continue to do even up to March 23rd, March 24th, March 26th. How you kept carrying us. How you kept helping us. How you kept showing us mercy. Even up to March 27th, we say thank you. March 28th, we are saying thank you. March 29th, we are saying thank you. March 30, we are saying thank you. March 31st, we are saying thank you. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the election that was held in February 25th, for the peace in the land, we say thank you. For the election that was held in March 18, the peace that we enjoyed, we say thank you. That Nigeria is still standing today, we say thank you. That we are alive to stand before your presence, even in the month of April, we say thank you. Lord, you have carried us through the month of April. You saw us even up until the last day on, on, on Sunday. We were, we were in your presence. Lord, we have come to say thank you. We give you praise. We exalt and magnify your holy name. Thank you for a brand new month, the month of May. We are saying thank you. We are saying thank you for our families. We are saying thank you for our nation. We are saying thank you for your church. We are saying thank you, oh Lord God, for everyone that is connected to us in one way or the other. We are saying thank you, Lord God Almighty, for all that you helped us to be able to do, reaching out to our main viewers online, being a blessing to the world through this channel. Father, we have come to say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Jehovah, Lord, we pray. That even as we continue in this year, our reasons to give thanks, we multiply. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our joy will not be turned to sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our joy will increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our joy will overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So dear friends, I welcome you once again to tonight's meeting. My name is Tobechuku actually. And this is the, the Healing Balm platform of the Palm in Gilead, RCCG. And in this place, we meet to share the word of God and also to pray. On Tuesday by 6.30, we meet to share the word. On Thursday by 6.30, we meet to pray the word, exercising our faith. So each time you connect with us and you, you perceive and you're sure, you know that you're in the right place and what you're hearing actually meets with what you're going through, your situation, the word that you had blessed you, I want to say to you that you would always want to like our messages, you always want to share so that others can participate. And if you're here to subscribe, to become one of our subscribers, please click on that subscription button. And then if you want to stick to this particular platform, so that you will be fellowshipping with us 
every time we meet, please hit on that notification bell so that each time we come alive on Tuesday, Thursday, or maybe it's in the morning of Sunday during our morning dew, you'll be notified. Each time you share, you're giving YouTube the opportunity to reach to as many people as possible that are on this particular channel, the YouTube channel. And by so doing, we are all reaching the world for Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us. If you are joining us for the first time, I want to welcome you. Thank you for joining us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has been helping us for some time now. He's been speaking his word to us. He's been saying his word to us in dimensions. He's been taking us through a particular series. And he's been telling us the things we need to begin to do this year. If you are going to be having a great finish. Hallelujah. And we said this word, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's a word that, uh, that is right, that cannot be reproved. It's a word that actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, has a proof that God is speaking to us that if we we'll develop a closer work with God this year and come to that place where our relationship is become mature and we are able to hear the voice or know the voice of God, be able to know the ways of God, then we'll begin to act in diligently, then we begin to contend for the faith and we begin to run this race, journey with God and with the end in mind, then we are going to have a great finish. So God has helped us. We have looked at different ways God has helped us to be able to look at the word of God. Hallelujah. The last time we met, we, 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 we focused in on the fact that even with all of these processes that God is giving to us, hallelujah, we need God to help us to indeed have a great finish. So it's not like it is difficult, it may appear difficult. The Bible said the commandments of God are not grievous, all right? When God says, be ye perfect, even as I am perfect, perfect it is because God will, will help you to get to that place of perfection it's not by your works of righteousness it's not by you trying to make it happen yourself but God making it possible for you so we said with God all things are possible So today we want to look at the fact that, that there is a thanksgiving that changes things. So if you want to give this particular meeting the topic or this sermon the topic, you might want to put it as, as, you might want to put the topic as the thanksgiving that changes things. Hallelujah. Our Bible text is going to be taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonian church. Chapter 5 verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And I read, it says there, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything there is not saying that you should embrace those things that happens to you you know, it's not saying that you should embrace those adverse circumstances. It's not saying that you should embrace those unfavorable circumstances. It's saying that you should see beyond those circumstances what God is about to do. It's saying that, that we should maintain the right attitude of faith. That God will turn those things around for good. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. So if you look at the scripture, if you're looking at King James Version, you'll see there, it says, in everything give thanks, column. In everything give thanks. In the midst of that circumstances, in the midst of that adverse situation, in the midst of that unfavorable situation, the Bible is saying to us that we should give thanks. Some Bible scholars say, St. Paul wrote this particular scripture when he was in prison. 
the condition was not favorable for him then, yet he's still preaching to us that in everything we should give thanks. Because he has been in that place where he did not have the opportunity or he, 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 the condition he was in was not favorable at all. Things were tight for him. His hands were, 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 were chains with feathers, and, you know, and his neck, you know, was, was, was put, they put a very serious chain in his neck. But for them, for them, they did not seal up his mouth. And St. Paul, after praying, praised God and God showed up for him. So he has been in that place where he gave thanks to God in everything. He now wrote again and said, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. It may not be favorable, but the Lord is instructed you and I that we should give thanks in whatever situation we find ourselves. So what that is trying to say to us this evening is that God is still in the business of changing things. That the things will change is in your hand. That things we turn around is in your hand. God's own part of the deal is settled. God is ready to perform his word. He's ready to bring to pass all the word is spoken to you. But it is in us to give thanks to God in that situation we find ourselves. Hallelujah. So we have a God who does not change, but yet he changes things. Malachi 3. He changes things when we do our own part by just trusting in him through the storms. Like we mentioned last week, we are mentioning again that life is not an event but a process. God's ways are processes that ensures that we have access to the blessings that are daily loaded to us each day. Psalm 65 verse 11. Psalm 65 verse 11. The fact that God told us that we are blessed with spiritual blessings and heavenly blessings does not mean that we will just sit there and be wallowing in self pity, complain and getting anxious and expect that God is going to drop the blessings on our lap. We have to provoke heaven to do that for us. So the blessings will not automatically fall on our laps. We must reach out to it and grab it. Things don't just change. Changes require that we apply a force. And one of the forces that we have to apply to bring about change is the force of faith. Hallelujah. So the thanksgiving that changes things is that thanksgiving that's done through an act of faith. The thanksgiving that changes things is that thanksgiving we do an act of obedience to God. Like St. Paul told us in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. The thanksgiving that changes things is the sacrifice of thanksgiving. When things do not make sense, yet we are giving thanks to God. When the answer has not come, we are already giving thanks to God because we know the answer is coming. Let's look at the scripture quickly. John chapter 11, speaking of Jesus. John chapter 11, we know the story. Lazarus being raised from the dead. Hallelujah. From verse 41. John chapter 11 from verse 41. The Bible says there, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. 
But because of the people which stand by me, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus was dead, gone. But Jesus understood, based on the relationship he has with the Father, that with God, nothing is impossible. That Lazarus will come back alive. That dead dream will come back alive. That dead vision will come back alive. That delayed prayer, prolonged answer to our prayers will come back to us. So Jesus gave thanks and he said he knows, he knew that God always hear him and he has heard him. I remember once upon a time I was faced with a particular situation. That situation was so there that in fact it was about an accommodation. And it happens that it was almost getting to the point where we we're going to be thrown out of the house. What we started doing at that time was to begin to thank God for the accommodation. Begin to praise God for the accommodation. Saying to him, Father, thank you because I know you have provided me an accommodation. Thank you because, Lord, we know that you're going to come true for me. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered my prayer. And God came through. People's loads were thrown out that period. Before they came around, a few days before they came around, we have moved out of that place. So, thanksgiving that changes is the thanksgiving that we give to God as a sacrifice. The thanksgiving we give to God when it does not make sense. John chapter 6. How do you explain what happened with the two loaves? And the five fishes. In John chapter 6. From verse 1 to 12. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? It, does not, it didn't make sense to the disciples. What is this going to do? Among five, more than 5,000 men. Jesus lifted up that two loaves and five fishes. And he gave thanks to God. And it's multiplied. And after it fed 5,000 men without women and children, they had remnants left. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, we want to provoke heaven. We want to thank God for those things we are trusting him for that are not come. We want to thank God for the prayers we have prayed that we have not received answers to. We want to thank God for that contract that we have trusting, been trusting God for for some time that has not come through. We want to thank God for that visa we have applied for that has not been granted. We want to thank God for that trip, that travel that we are trusting God to embark on that has not come through. Thank God for the church, increase in your church that has not happened. We want to thank God for provision that has not happened. We want to thank God for that finance you need to execute a project that has not happened. My dear friends, not everybody can give God that kind of thanks. Jesus was able to speak the way he spoke because he had a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Jesus was able to do what he did because he had a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Because he has come to that place where he has developed a relationship with God, a closer war with God, he was able to hear and he was able to see. Hallelujah. And he was able to act in diligently and he was able to contend with the frame because there were so many doubting Thomases that were around him at that time. Hallelujah. But Jesus knew what to do. Jesus was doing this with the end in mind. Because he had a relationship. He knew where he was going. He has already seen the end of what, we, what will happen. That there will be 5,000 loaves, 5,000, there are 5,000 men, but this bread is going to multiply, this fish is going to multiply to feed every one of them. So if you are here tonight, you're not born again. If you are here tonight, you don't have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. 
you might not be able to experience this. You, you, might, you cannot be able to come by, 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 by righteousness, you know, uh, uh, but from the standpoint of righteousness, all right, to begin to ask, except you accept Jesus today and you put on his own righteousness. So if you are listening to us tonight and you're not yet born again, you might need to make a decision tonight by saying this prayer with me and saying, Father, I come to you tonight because I know I am a sinner. I repent of my sins tonight. Please, Lord, wash me with the blood of Jesus. Today, I confess Jesus as Lord. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Give me your Holy Spirit. Make me become a child of God. Write my name in the book of life. Whenever I call, please answer me. Thank you for hearing my prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So if you have said that prayer with me, you can join us to pray. You have become a member of the family of God. You are a child of God, so you can ask God from the standpoint of righteousness in Christ Jesus. You can ask God from the standpoint of the fact that you know what God is able to do. That with him, nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. Now begin to appreciate him. That you are going to see the end of this year. You are going to see many years to come. That you are going to live long to eat the food of labor. You are going to thank him. That your tomorrow is going to be alright. It may not make sense what is happening around you. You may, want, you, may, you may be at a place where you are almost giving up. But right now you want to have a change of attitude. Saying to God, Father, I thank you because I'm going to see the end of this year. I'm going to see many years to come. I thank you because, Lord, you have satisfied me with long life. I thank you, Lord God, because I shall not die, but live to declare your works in the land of the living. I thank you because, Lord, I will live in good health. I will enjoy prosperity. Father, I thank you because I know my tomorrow is going to be all right. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now you're going to thank God. The Bible said that it's of his mercy that we're not consumed. His mercies are new every morning. So you're going to thank him in advance because you will enjoy his mercy. And his mercy will continue to open doors for you. Now say to him, Father, I thank you because, Lord, I am a candidate of your mercy. I am a candidate of divine mercy. Father, I thank you because mercy will not elude me. Father, I thank you because, Lord, you will not withdraw your mercy from me and withdraw your presence from me and take away your Holy Spirit from me. Father, I thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, thank him for those things you have requested for that you have not seen answer for. Thank you for all the prayer requests you have, you have written down that you have, got, have, not, have not been attended to. Begin to thank him for all of them. Father God, I thank you. For that accommodation, I thank you. For that particular house, I thank you. For that particular, particular breakthrough, I thank you. For that particular turnaround, I thank you. Lord, for that help, Lord, I thank you. Because I know you're going to come through for me. Father, for that provision, Lord, I thank you. Because I know you're going to come through for me. If you're in a relation or trusting God for a relation that will lead into marriage, begin to appreciate it for the husband. Begin to appreciate it for the wife. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. For the business turn around. You have written proposal. You are trusting that proposal will be, will, be, will, be, will, be, will, be, will be attended to. And you'll be given that loan or grant. Or that, that, that proposal, proposal will, 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 will become a masterpiece. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you because, Lord, you will increase your church. Father, thank you because, Lord, you will build your church according to your word. Thank you because, Lord, your church, the body of Christ will not go desolate. Thank you because, Lord Jesus, when you come, you will meet your church. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for our nation, Nigeria, for what you are about to bring forth from this nation. Thank you because, Lord, you will carry this nation, oh, Lord God. Thank you because, Lord, it is well with Nigeria. Father, I want to say thank you. Father, I want to say thank you. Oh, I want to say thank you for the scholarship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for salvation. Thank you. Father, we give you praise. We bless your holy name. Be thy exalted, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Everlasting King, we thank you because we know you always hear us when we call on you. Because the word says so. When we pray according to your will, you will give unto us whatever we ask of you. 
Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers tonight. For all the answers that will come and they will become mighty testimonies. I want to thank you. Glory, 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 glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now I want to bring a thanksgiving offering to God. Thanking him in advance for what he's going to do. Hallelujah. The offerings are kind of going to be displayed on the screen. Let's give and God will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give our offering. Allahu Tobi. Allahu Baba. Allahu Tobi. Allahu Baba. Father, we thank you for this offering. We bring it in honor of your name to appreciate you for what you have done tonight. Lord, we pray that the testimonies will begin to come in. Testimonies that will give birth to testimonies. Our understanding being enlightened. Our perspective being changed. And you make us, Lord, to become grateful people going forward. Thank you, Father God, for accepting us and accepting our offering. Use it for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen. Amen. Let's listen to the PIG News. This is BIG News. Good evening. Thank you for joining us online. God bless you and reward your labor of love. For those of us who have testimonies, Praise the Lord! Please encourage others by sharing your testimony physically in church during our second services. If you wish to share your testimony, kindly contact Dikin Tobechuku by the Saturday preceding the Sunday you want to share. Let's give him back the honor. Let's give him back adoration. Let's cover each and every one of these testimonies with the precious blood of Jesus. Alternatively, you can send an email to testimonies at rccgbig.org or you can send a short video of not more than two minutes to the same email address or via WhatsApp on 0703-085-5649. We thank God for the conclusion of most elections. Let us keep praying for our country and for the newly elected officers in line with God's word in 1 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. Please listen carefully to the rest of the announcements. If this is your first time connecting with us on any of our platforms, please don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Twitch. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are The Healing Balm on all platforms. Also, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we go live or post new content. 
Please like our post and drop a comment or ask for any information regarding our online services on the comment section. You can also drop your contact and we'll get in touch with you. The Women in Ministry Conference takes place on May the 27th and it promises to be a great time in God's presence. All women should prepare to attend and be blessed. If you do not have a house fellowship where you attend, please note the addresses of the centers which are close to you. In addition, if you want to volunteer your house as a center, please see Dikin Tom or Dikin Tobetuku after the service. Next Sunday, we'll have our monthly Thanksgiving services. First service will be from 7.45 to 8.45 a.m. Second service, which is also Daddy Joe's broadcast, will be from 9.15 to 10.45 a.m. And Sunday school follows immediately after the second service. Marriage counseling for intending couples and singles who want to get married before the end of this year starts soon. Interested persons should see Dickin Sam Adoga for more details. Our communion service will take place on Tuesday, May the 9th, between 6 to 7.30 p.m. here live in the auditorium. Our faith clinic service will hold this Thursday between 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. on YouTube at The Healing Balm. Join us. We want to use this opportunity to thank everyone who has been giving generously and supporting the church in this season, despite all the challenges. The Almighty God who sees in secret will reward you openly in the mighty name of Jesus. We have posted the prophecies for the year 2023 on our community WhatsApp chat group. Please check the chat group for more details. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Amen. I pray for us in this new month that God will make grace to abound towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray again that even after grace is abounded towards you, you will have all sufficiency, you will increase in grace, and you will have what you need to honor God in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you that God will multiply your reasons to give thanks. There will be celebration in your home and in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for hearing the, our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.